here we are at the front. And woke up this morning to a beautiful day. It's not too bad. There's the sun out there, a bit bright. Here's Ed from Rotorua. Flash, front of the boat. I think she's doing an impression off the uh, Titanic. Bingo. And we've got three varieties of um, albatross out in the ocean. I can't see any at the moment, but uh, they are following the boat, which is pretty cool. It's 9.22 on Monday, the 27th of November, and we've woken up after our first night at sea. Uh, we, they had said, us, said to us that we needed to secure our stuff because it might have been a bit rough once we got into the Drake Passage. So we've come out of the Badger Channel. I wanted to call it the Beaver Channel, but it wasn't that. The Badger Channel. We're into the Drake Pass and it's more undulating than rough. There's a few white caps, but it's not too bad at all. We've seen the plan for today and we've got a number of things to do. First thing we did was we got our Christmas shopping out of the way and bought some penguins for the boys. Um, the perfect and a hat. Uh, but very comfortable, lovely breakfast, really nice people. We've got two days of motoring till we get to uh, some islands. I think it's the Shetland Islands. But we've got a couple of lectures where we get to learn some stuff about Antarctica. As I said earlier, we get to practice getting into our zodiac boats, but we're not going to get in. We're not actually not going to get into the sea. And I've had a chance to look at some albatross. We, I haven't seen the wandering albatross yet. I believe it's flying around the boat. It has a wingspan of three and a half meters and is the the widest albatross, albatross or bird on the in the in the world. Uh, so I hope to see that. Anyway, I think it's time for a cup of tea. Land, because it seems like everyone lives in uh, everybody's friend to everybody in a way. Like you see all these animals living next to each other. Like sometimes you might. Monday the 27th and it's just come up to 3 p.m. It's been quite a busy day. We're out in the sea and we can't go on any expeditions. But what they do on your first full day on board is just get through all of the mandata mandatory stuff. So there's rules about Antarctica. It, you know, it's really important that we protect Antarctica. In order to do that, we need to understand the rules. So we had a big biosecurity briefing on Antarctica and um, on our responsibilities and why. We have had a lecture on Antarctica, just, just a summary of you know, geography, geology, animals, plants, uh, how it was discovered, who discovered it, when. The quick lecture, that was really good. And then this afternoon, we've had to hand over all of our outer gear, so our raincoats, our, our wet, everything that's going to be on the outside. So rain pants, camera, camera bags, backpacks, walking poles, and everything's need to be either hoovered or dipped just to make sure that it's safe. I've just been down to the mudroom, tried on my boots, which fit and are really comfortable. So we're ready to go now. And at 5 p.m., We've got a lecture from John Key, Sir John Key, who was our Prime Minister not so long ago. The captain's welcome drinkies, dinner, and then if I'm still awake at nine o'clock, there's a movie on penguins. Um, I think that is a pretty busy day, but it's been a very constructive day because we've got all that stuff out of the way now. And as I did yesterday, I can give you an update via our live feed of exactly where we are at the moment. Well, we're in the Drake Passage, open sea, and there is absolutely nothing around us. So we have left South America, and we're in the Drake Passage on our way to Antarctica, moving through the Antarctic Circle. What are you doing, Flash? Having a quick game of cards. Just gonna smash you quickly before we go and listen to John Key give us a lecture. <laughs> so Flash. Charge. We just finished the game. Yes, we did. Off. Kings. Kings. Killer Kings. Cards. Cards. 
And the last video, as we started the game, you said you were going to do what? I was going to annihilate you. Or did I say smash? Smash, kick my butt, rah, rah, rah. Anyway, we've completed the game. We have. And? Well... No, did you kick my butt? No. no. Did you win? No. no. Did you lose? <laughs> yes. yes life and not have every everything you do judged and um, watched and yeah and I think that's um well like I said with, like with David I'm really good friends with him and he is a police detail it's the end of the day on Monday the 28th I think and we've just had an announcement to say that it's we are currently at I think 58 degrees south and 61 degrees west and what that means is in one hour's time we will have got into Antarctic waters so progress indeed the Drake Passage is remarkably flat though it's not flat but remarkably flat and we've been blessed with clear blue skies and sunshine so tomorrow we will arrive I believe at the South Shetland Islands, maybe about 3 p.m. So um, the real adventure begins at that stage, but being out at sea and not being able to see land is kind of an interesting experience in itself. We've had our keynote from, well, a chat from John Key. We've had our captain's drinkies. We've had a lovely dinner. All in all, it's been a beautiful night. So 11 p.m. and we finished the day here. We are now in Antarctic waters and uh, tomorrow we're doing nothing but getting closer to the icebergs and the whales and the penguins and the South Shetland Islands and the Antarctic Peninsula. Tuesday the 28th of November. Good morning, Charge. Hey, Flash. So, we had day two. We just had our second night on board. Yes, breakfast. And, and we're yep. now sitting at the top deck at the bow. And we're about 100 kilometres from the top of the Shetland Islands. South Shetland, South I think. South Shetland Islands. Yeah. And so I think we're at the latch of 60. Yeah, we'd, we're, we're, below, we're higher than 60 now, so we're, we've gone across the Antarctic Convergence. Ooh. We're almost out of Drake Passage, and we, we are fully in Antarctic waters now. And some of the team on board have actually seen an iceberg and some whales. We saw whales last night, um, dinner, and yeah, just exciting. It is exciting, isn't it? And what's that thing behind your ear? Oh, that one. Yep. It's called a... It was a scopoderm patch. Scopoderm, yep. They've worked, eh? No, no illness whatsoever. Apparently, or uh, well, the captain said last night, that we've uh, been very fortunate. It's been a exceptionally calm waters. But I'm saying that, it's still uh, <laughs> lumpy out there. But this is the roughest water patch in the world. But it was a breeze. So once we, we hit the Shetland Islands, we'll be... Um, Pretty flat waters. And hopefully, it stays that way and for the next week. All the way back to port. See what happens. Just been outside. I'm a bit red because it's freezing, but the temperature has dropped dramatically. And I've just been taking photos, very bad photos, of the first icebergs that have appeared on the horizon. It's so exciting. And it's absolutely freezing outside. So Undoubtedly, I'll take a million photos of the first iceberg 
and uh, post them in this vlog later. But wow, the excitement level has really risen. Hey, Charge. Hey, Flash. What was that? Icebergs. Woo! So here we have our first iceberg, so close, it's pretty impressive, but it behind it, uh, and the weather's just closing in a little bit, there's heaps of icebergs now, we've just gone past the large one over that way. We're just about to go to a briefing on kayaking. Um, there are lots of activities on the boat, but because we came to it kind of last minute, we can't camp on the ice. Uh, they've just had their briefing, but we've put our name down, hopefully, to get a chance to go on a kayaking expedition. If we can't get on a kayaking expedition, then we get to go out on the Zodiacs every day, at least once, sometimes twice, and that looks really exciting. So we're going to go to the briefing, and what's really fascinating this morning and very exciting is having seen our first really huge icebergs, there's now chunks and bits and chunks, I'm just looking at our window, there's chunks of ice just floating by in the sea, um, there's ice that's freezing on the side of the glass railings, and there's just that sense that we're getting closer and closer to um, Antarctica. So, very excited. The Zodiac is here so for, to rescue you in case you capsize. For the people who know how to paddle, we don't do rescue with the kayak. If someone capsized, the safety Zodiac go there, take you, pull you in the zone, back in the Zodiac. We assess with you, are you okay? Do you want to continue to kayak? So we put you back in the kayak and we go kayak again. And if you're not, if you call, and if you're in shock or whatever, you want to go back to the ship, we'll call another Zodiac and someone will bring you back to the ship. Okay, so we've arrived at the South Shetland Islands. And the easiest way to show this is via the live feed in our room. So you can see we're between, oh, there we go, just zoomed out. We're between Living's, King George Island and Livingston Island, and, um, oh. Good morning, everybody, good morning. Uh, we're gonna have a briefing for the snowshoers in 10 minutes in the lounge. So if you have free sign for snowshoeing, or if you are interested in going, please join us in the lounge in 10 minutes. And it is a mandatory briefing, so if you don't join us, you will not go snowshoeing. <laughs> See you in 10 minutes. Yeah, snowshoeing. I don't think so. And I'll just come down to, you can see what our coordinates are. And we've got here in a day and a half because the Drake Passage was so, um, so accessible. So we're going for an expedition this afternoon, which is unexpected. Very, very excited. Get a chance to get out in the Zodiacs around the South Shetland Islands. Having moved from the map, I'm now doing it in real life. So uh, we've got ice and in fact we've got a bit of a thaw which is why you come at this time of the year because um, you can actually start seeing on the Antarctic Peninsula uh, where the snow has thawed a bit. There's big chunks of ice in the sea and I do believe according to um, an announcement we had earlier that there are whales around so everyone on the boat as you can imagine is extremely excited and charge are you excited what's the temperature like it's cold <laughs> it's cold i think we might need to put some more layers on uh -huh. it might go below, to below zero very easily uh, but i can tell you that we might not be walking too much today Thank you. 